it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Thanks for watching. Now, in this video, I need to freshen up my own website, which is uh, alexdigital.com. And over there, I promote myself as an internet marketeer. So offering things like um, SEO and pay-per-click and social media marketing and all that kind of thing. Now, I found a fantastic theme over on Theme Forest. Uh, and the reason why it's so good is that uh, it comes with a whole load of content already kind of bundled with it. So all you need to do is change some text and maybe change some icons and a few images. Not that you need to because all of those are included and you've got a really nice looking uh, website all around uh, SEO, PPC, all that kind of stuff. So if you've got the time to go through designing websites, this theme is gonna really help you out. Now I've got the website up on my screen here, so uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah, here it is. And as you can see, um, it looks really cool. Um, it literally took me 20 minutes to get it to this point, uh, as you'll see as you watch the video. And it then just um, is really easy just to customize and make it your own. Um, so yeah, it's gonna take you um, hardly any time to get a really nice looking website up and running. Uh, as you can see, the sliders and everything are all ready to go. Looks really good, doesn't it? Now, this video, I'm gonna start with WordPress already installed, just a fresh install. Now, if you're not at that point and you need to maybe set up some hosting and install WordPress, then you need to look at one of these two videos. Uh, I've got this one here, uh, which is for my UK viewers and takes you through setting up hosting uh, with the excellent TSO host who are based in the UK. And I've got a voucher code for that so you can get a discount. So yeah, watch that video. And if you're elsewhere in the world or you want your hosting based in the US with a company called Hostgator, I've got a video here on how to do that. And also a voucher code in there for you to use. So if you need your hosting and you need to get WordPress installed, then please watch one of them too and come back after you've done that and hopefully you'll be ready to go. And for the rest of you that have got WordPress installed um, or you just watched those and it's now installed, then follow me and we'll get started. Okay, hopefully um, you got your hosting set up if you needed to and you followed one of my videos um, on that and you've got WordPress installed and you're all ready to go. Now, um, we're gonna use the theme called SEO WP. I've got it on the screen now. It's over on Theme Forest. It's just $48. And the reason why I've chosen this theme, and um, I'll be fair with you, I'm gonna kind of, I'm running through this cold. Um, I've not used this theme before, but I'm just gonna use my judgment that it looks pretty cool. And what appealed to me is it comes with a load of um, content, including all these images and, and stuff like that. So it's really easy um, then hopefully to just change the content and make it your own without having to find images and all that hard work. So let's give it a go. If it all works out, that'd be great. If it doesn't work out, I'll post a video anyway and we can say how bad it is. But I think looking at, um, I've had a good read of this page, it looks really good. So I purchased it and I'm gonna download it. So I'll put a link up on the screen so that you can go and get it yourself. And you need to obviously create a Theme Forest account if you haven't already and, and, and download it. So uh, let's do that now. I'm just gonna download a zip file to my computer. I'm just gonna save that in my downloads folder. Then if we go and take a look at it on the computer, what you need to do is um, extract it. Now on a Mac, I just use the archive utility. Obviously on your PC, I think you'll know what you need to do to do that, hopefully. <laughs> And then within that folder, you're gonna find some more um, files, and they're the files that we're gonna need to upload to WordPress to get it installed. So um, within uh, there, there's another folder called theme, and then there's the theme file that we need to upload. So I'm gonna go into WordPress now. Uh, hopefully yours looks a bit like this if you just installed it. Um, I'm logged in, so I'm gonna go into the back end. Then I'm gonna go down to appearance and themes. Add new, button up the top. Then I'm gonna click the upload theme button. And then I'm gonna browse over to that folder that I just showed you, which was um, within my downloads folder. And within theme, and it's called SEO WP theme installable. Click install. And that's gonna upload and get it activated. Might take a minute or two. Uh -huh. Then we click activate. And we're greeted with the setup screen. 
So I think what we need to do first is um, install the required plugins. Let's click that button. Uh, then down here, there's quite a few, but let's go for it. So I'm just gonna click the little button at the top, the little tick box to select all of them. And then I'm gonna click install. That's gonna take a few minutes. There's number one. What I'll do is I'll fast forward time via the power of video editing. That'll speed things up, so see you in a sec. Okay, so that's all done now. That took a couple of minutes, but they're all installed. So I'm gonna click the link at the bottom here that says return to the theme screen. Okay, so the next step is to click integrate installed plugins. Not quite sure what that's gonna do, but let's see. That's done. And the third step is to import all the demo content, which will set up some pages for us that we can then go on and edit with. Obviously, you can put all your own content on. Um, so that's gonna take a minute or two. Okay, that's finished. So the last step, if you want, is to take a quick tour. Let's just see what that does. <clears throat> okay, so I clicked the tour and it didn't really work. Um, and I'm back here again. So um, never mind. I'm sure we can work it out. Let's have a look at the front of the website. Okay, so here's the front of the website. Um, as you can see, it looks really good. It's created lots of different pages and the menu structures and um, pretty much everything you're going to need. So all you need to do now is start editing the content. Um, but luckily, a lot of the images look good. So it's probably just going to be mostly text that you're going to be wanting to change. Now in order to do that, it's got a built-in editor this theme. You click Activate Editor down here, and you can start to make changes, as I say, to things like text, those kind of things. So you, once you click that, you can highlight areas. So, so if we wanted to change this top area, click Edit Content, and we can say, um, maybe we just wanted to change it. Sorry, my computer is running a bit slow at the moment. I'm Gonna invest in a new one very soon. Can't keep up with me. So uh, let's change that to fantastic social media campaigns. And you click confirm, and that's done. It really is as easy as pie. Um, and again here, any of these elements, just click edit content. And you can easily change um, the text. If you wanna add some new elements, um, they're all along the bottom here, um, oh sorry, let me just go into this element here that I'm editing. You've got those different styling and things along the bottom here, so you can change things like the color, background, um, images, um, the icon. See this one's got a little icon of a clock. So yeah, you can scroll left and right. Here's the icon list. So it's a speedometer at the moment, but we could change it to a YouTube thing. And then once you're done, you click confirm. There we go, it's a YouTube thing. And then you click publish changes down the bottom. I said, I've just installed this theme. I've never used it before, so I'm just learning and it's that easy. So hopefully you'll be able to do the same. Um, so yeah, if you wanna add some new uh, content, you can just simply drag it up. So say you wanted to add this text box, I've just dragged it from the bottom and then you just drop it where you want it. And it adds it there so you can add your content. So uh, yeah, really cool. So let's um, disable the editor for now. Don't worry about my changes. Now you're gonna wanna change some other things like uh, this logo and uh, other settings. And to find them, I think we'll find them in the back. So I'm back in the dashboard and we'll find it under appearance and customize. And in here, you'll be able to change um, things like the logo and stuff like that. So let's change the logo. Um, and yeah, basically down the side here, you can tweak the other elements that aren't you know specific to a page. So that's the top bar right across the top. You click here, it'll bring over the options. So um, you know what the words are, the colors, all that sort of thing. But if we go into logo here, go change image. I think I've got a logo on here. 
No, it might be white, so that won't work on this. Let's have a look. Might be time for a new logo for me. Yeah, so save and publish once you've uploaded your logo. Yeah, it is white, so um, I'm going to need to make some adjustments to that. So that it's got black text or something on that white header. Or I could change, obviously, the color of the header to a different color. So, um, yeah, that might be something I could do. I could say header design, go in the header design, and then I can select a color using these weird hue things. I need to turn down the opacity, I think, and turn that up, is it? Why don't I just have a color picker? Okay, here we go. Yeah, see something like that. That looks a bit better. Now you can see my logo. And yeah, you can tweak around all the colors in here to your heart's content so they fit your uh, your branding, etc. Um, that's the menu there. Obviously, the color of the text isn't quite right now. So if I go to the mega menu. change the link color to white. So, nope, is it the lightness? Yeah, there we go. There we go, and the header's not looking too bad now. So I, I'm not gonna go for every single feature on this theme. Um, I think you can probably click around as well um, and customize it. But obviously, as you can see, the demo content and everything really gives you a great starting point. And you can have your SEO type internet marketing company up and running quicker than you thought you probably could. So uh, yeah, I hope that's been useful. And if you like this video, um, please click the button below and um, leave, leave a comment if you've uh, got any questions and I will speak to you soon.